food? That's a good question. I think we should do science. What does your shirt say? Science. Science what? Science four. That's right, everybody. Correctly stated by the two-year-old. As you know, my name is Mr. Hames, and this is my daughter. What's your name? Mm. Nora. Nora. Nora is going to be my helper today, and we are going to be demonstrating what happens to the molecules of a liquid in hot water and cold water. And we're going to be adding different colors to those to see how that happens. Let's start with the cold water. I'll be right back. Nora, do you want to talk to the camera? Good talk. All right, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be uh, taking about 500 milliliters of cold water. Nora, this is a beaker. Can you say beaker? Beaker. And this line right here is 500 milliliters. Can you say 500? 500. And this is cold water. Can you say cold? Cold. Do you want to touch the water? No. Why not? No. Kids don't drink water. No, thank you. I'm full. Oh, you're full? Okay. Well, what I'm doing is I'm taking this cold water that was sitting outside on this cold day and pouring it into this beaker. Now, as we know, water is H2O molecules, right, Nora? That's right, Dad. Exactly. And H2O molecules aren't just staying still, they're flowing around inside of this beaker. Um, they're moving all over the place. We can't see them because they're all clear and they're too small to see um, And water's transparent so we see right through it, but they're in there And we're gonna try to capture them with dye here today. So here's what I'm doing right now I'm taking the temperature of the water to see how cold it is and hopefully it's... Dad, what should we do first? Well, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked we are measuring the temperature of this water with a thermometer. Do you want to read the numbers on here so we know? What number is that? Five. Kind of like a five. It's backwards though. It's, it's a two. We're at, oh, now what are we at? One. We're at 1.5 degrees Celsius. It's Zero. Mm hmm 1.5 degrees Celsius. So that's how cold this water is. Yes. Now. Should we do that? That's a good question. What we should do next is we should add a little bit of dye in this water and we're going to see how long it takes for that water to spread around the moving molecules inside there. So we're going to see what happens when we add this color to cold water. Okay? And we're going to use this timer. Do you see this? Timer. Okay. All right. What color is in here? Blue. Blue. Because this is cold water, we'll use blue. Okay, Nora, what do we say when we usually start something? We say, ready, set, go. Blue. All right, so as you can see, the blue went into the water. What's it doing, Nora? It's kind of like spreading around, don't you think? Does it look like a cloud? Yeah, it does look like a cloud. Okay. And right now we've been going, uh-oh, my timer didn't work. So I'll start it right now. I guess we could look at the time on here. If we would have known when we started, we would know when we started. Hey, what's that blue paint doing? What is that blue paint doing? I'm glad you asked. That's a good question. We put the blue paint and it started out highly concentrated. That means it was packed into a, a tight area. All the molecules were really close together, okay? Now I'm explaining this for 8th graders, but what that means is that all the dye started really close together and it's starting to spread out. Now because this is cold water, it happens a little bit more slowly than it would happen in hot water. Dad, your timer! Yeah, and since I started the timer was 45 seconds ago, so I probably had it going about 30 seconds. So we've probably been waiting for about a minute and 15 seconds and still the liquid isn't spread out all the way, is it? What's the red? You want to do red? Yeah. I think that's a great idea. Can you keep an eye on this for me? Red. Sit there. We're going to do red. All right. Can you pick out the red one for me? This is red. Good job. This all right. Is 
So Nora, yeah, this is not red, this is green. We'll put that one over there. And this is blue, we'll put that over there too. Now if you remember, the blue took a long time to spread around this beaker, didn't it? Thanks, I'll hold that. All right, she's like, just let's get to the point. Okay, you're right, Dad talks too much. All right, when I say go, I want you to hit that little yellow button there, okay? No, not yet. I'll say ready, set, go. go. Hit the button. Our timer is going. And as you can see, the red is spreading out much more quickly than what the blue did, right? What do we? You want to do green? Yes. We can do green. Oh no! We need something. Dad, we need something. What do we need? Tell the camera what we need. We need a bucket. A bucket. Is that what this thing is? Yes. This is called a beaker. Do you remember? Oh no! We need a beaker. We need a beaker. Green? Green. Yeah. Okay. Don't unscrew that cap though. Okay. All right. So while we're waiting for the green, Nora, let's review what we've done so far. What colors have we tried so far? We tried and blue. And red too. Yep. We tried no, blue. We, we tried green. red. The blue we put in the cold water, right? Now we're gonna do green. And the, yeah, yeah, we're all stoked about the green. And the uh, the red we put in the hot water. And the red sp spread around much faster in the hot water because the molecules were moving faster. What is that? A blender. It's not not a blender. <laughs> it's a it's a beaker. Right? Oh no, we need a beaker. Yep. I'm now ready. careful, don't touch because that's really hot. Closely. There's little bubbles in there because it's getting closer to wanting to boil. So we're going to wait for this one to get hotter than the last time. We're going to wait for it to boil. Okay, are we ready now, Nora? Yes. What do I have in my hand? That's an apple. Let's review what we've done so far so we can keep this whole video under 10 minutes, shall we? Blue and red. Now we're going to do green. Now, okay but uh, it allows you to see that this water is even warmer than before. Let's, let's see what happens. All right, you want a time, Nora? Okay, these are all estimates because we got a two-year-old doing the timer. All right. Can I hold it? Yes, you're gonna hit, no, you're gonna hit that button when I say go. Ready, set, go. go. There goes the green. Can I see it? Very close up. It's really hot, honey, so we don't want to touch it. Very hot. Go green, go. Go green, go. All right, well, I don't know how long that took because it appears, Nora, what time is it say on there? Five. Uh, no, it actually says uh, zero, uh, so we never actually hit the button like I thought. But I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that was that was faster. I can go back and time the video and maybe I'll just put it on the screen. Hey, what are we doing? We're doing science because science rules, right? Hey, it matches my shirt. <laughs> it sure does. It matches your shirt. Was that fun? Did you guys have fun today? I want to do more. We can do more, but we're going to say bye to the video for now and we'll just play with the, with the colors ourselves, okay? Can we play the magic? Science is not magic. But yeah, why not? Bye. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Wait. Bye. bye.